Welcome back friends, my name is Mark Thomas and I run the YouTube channel Mark Thomas Builder. You can also find me at Instagram under the same name. I'm also one of the members of the Echo User Advisory Group and I'm really excited today to share with you some of my footage that I have from the spring here of 2021 and the summer featuring these two items right here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the Echo CSG 7410 14 inch cutoff saw. This does come with a 14 inch abrasive blade. Right now I have a blade in here. This is from Blades Direct. It's their shocker blade. It's made for concrete. And then I also have another diamond blade that I'll be showing in this video, which is made specifically for cutting asphalt. And right here we have the Echo three gallon water supply tank accessory. This has a manual pump handle right here. So there's no batteries to have to worry about. And then we have a 10 foot hose on it which gives you a lot of freedom to move back and forth using the saw when you're cutting, as you'll see later in this video. The dry weight of this 23.7 pounds without the wheel on it. I feel like it's balanced well for doing concrete cutting. The fuel tank, 23.7 ounces. This has a one year commercial warranty. So as far as the speeds on this, has a 9,800 maximum engine speed RPM. And then the maximum spindle speed RPM is 3820. Another nice feature this saw has that some don't, it has a reversible cutting arm. So if you wanna rotate this 180 degrees this way, you can put the blade to the outside here. So if you wanna cut right next to a wall, you can do that or right next to a floor or some other large objects, this has the versatility to do that. So there's four screws right here and this cover lifts off. And you'll see underneath there, there's a four stage air cleaner. That does a really nice job of keeping that harmful dust out. And then the engine on here is a 73.5 cc professional grade engine. The MSRP on this is $899, which is a really fair price for a good cutting saw. All right, so a nice feature that this has right there, that's a decompression valve. So when you go to start it, you push that down. Did you hear that click? So that'll just help with the spring assisted pulling right here. I have a lot of people, the comments on this, that it's an easy starting saw. And then right here, this is a brass hose inlet. So it's not plastic or anything. So when you hook your water supply up to this, you're gonna run that. So you'll keep the silica dust down, prevent it. So you can hook your hose up to it. You can shut it off. And then when you're ready to go, you can control it with this valve right here. And then you'll see after I start it, it's gonna have a high idle. So you're gonna just let it run like that so the engine gets warm. And then once you're ready to start cutting and you feel that it's warm enough, you hit the trigger and then you can take it off the high idle. All right, so let's get started and see what the saw can do. So right here I have a five inch wall block, so it probably won't cut all the way through that, but we're gonna try it out just to see how it does. This right here is a four inch block, so it should go through that no problem. Then we have a couple other pieces over here that we're gonna cut, and then somewhere on my channel, when I take on a bigger project, I will do an updated video showing this cutting some longer lengths of concrete. But for today, we're gonna to at least get a first look and see how it runs on some of the smaller jobs. So it's a good idea to have protective equipment on, such as gloves, eye protection. I'm gonna have face protection as well here, and then ear protection. So let's go ahead and start her up. The decompression valve I already pushed. no problem it's a little bit brighter out so I'm not sure if you saw much sparks or not but it'll definitely cut reinforced concrete So here I was able to get 
right to there. And then I think just the weight of it caused it to break off. So there you go. 4.9 inches of cutting. So here's an interesting project I'm working on. I'm cutting out part of the parking lot here to make room for a sand volleyball court. So I'm using my chalk line and I have some upside down clear marking spray that just covers the chalk and keeps it from rinsing away from the saw. The water supply tank right there, you can see I have to turn it up a little bit because we're getting too much dust. I am wearing an N95 mask, but we really don't want to have dust like that. So I, now you can see I have the water turned up and we have everything regulated the way we want. The saw is moving forward. And after we get to a certain point, we have to stop and move the water supply tank that has a 10 foot hose. So I don't have to move it too often. And then right here, I'm coming up to the end point, the intersection of the two lines. I'm gonna just go past it a little bit. Now I'm going the other direction. Things are moving well. Just sometimes it's tricky trying to figure out what depth to cut it at. And here's my final touch up right there. Wrapping up this project. So now we're ready for the excavators to come in. All right, friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that I didn't cover and you have some questions, please put them down below. I'll be happy to respond. And if you're someone who's in the green industry, maybe a landscaper or a hardscaper or something else in the trades, I recommend that you check out echomeansbusiness.com. And that's a great resource where you can connect with others. You can ask a lot of questions, take place in forums. They also have an app that I recommend you check out as well too. So if you enjoy this video and you find it interesting, helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support this Echo Means Business channel. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.